Hey, this is Jason Guyman here with uh, First Choice Power Washing, First Choice Services. Just going to give you a quick tip on why we use clear hose on our 12 volt roof pump. Um, my guys were out the other day and it was not working, and so I was trying to figure out what it is, and this is why I use clear hose. So, all right, you can pull it. So this is the roof pump is down here in this hole down here and if you look it is um, pulling air and the way I got it is is right here the water is coming from my water tank and this is coming from my soap tank going into right there and what it was is I had a different fitting on here that came straight out and it wasn't getting down in that bulkhead fitting enough so I had to do a short um, tip there come up short nipple come up and do it this way into it so you can hear that it's getting air in there and the way you can tell is you'll see air bubbles going through the hose and that's how you know that you got an issue um, let's see if I'm gonna see if I can spray it here to see if we can get some air bubbles going um, right now I got it on water because I'm actually rinsing it out I, I checked my pressure hose and it's working but my water is not and I say it's that fitting right there, it's that bulkhead fitting. But if you look in this hose, this is why we use clear hose. You can see the air bubbles going through. And if you can see them in here, they're kind of hard, but you can definitely see air bubbles. All right, you can shut it off. So the problem with when you have an air bubbles going in, you will lose prime when you're up on a roof. And when you do that, the only way you're going to get your prime back is to um, get down with the gun all the way to the ground and to uh, make sure that you can get prime again. But if you got air getting in there, it'll just keep happening. So you want to make sure all your connections are good and tight. Make sure you don't have a cracked fitting. Um, that uh, bulkhead fitting sometimes, you can over tighten it. Don't take much to crack them if they're in the sun a lot over time the um, sodium hypochlorite will eat through those and weaken them down. It won't really eat through them, but it just makes that plastic no good and it'll crack them. So uh, again, this is Jason Guyman with First Choice Services. Hey, uh, what do you like using better? Are you using a 12 volt or are you using the, um, the new fangled dangled with the uh, booster pump? We haven't went to it yet just because of the price. Um, I mean, we can get four roof pumps out of one booster pump. We'll see how they work out, but uh, we may move to them, but we also don't really have the room for our trucks, and we don't do a lot of roof cleaning, so that's the reason why we stuck with the um, 12 volt. But, uh, but hey, uh, give me a suggestion down there what you like, and uh, also subscribe, and have an awesome day. Thank you for watching. Bye.